<laughs> not really. <laughs> uh, I mean, not 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 in any um, dramatic degree. Uh, you, you know, I'm I'm not one of the people who, uh, you know, battled stage four cancer or survived intense childhood abuse or anything like that. Um, however, I think that in our civilization, there's a lot of trauma that has become so normalized that we don't recognize it as traumatic. And I have a very sensitive disposition. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I've, I've definitely experienced my share of inner turmoil, even if the outer circumstances might look, well, you had a pretty good childhood, Charles, you know, you're, you're quite privileged and, and you've never really suffered in your life. Um, but that's a kind of judgment that is tempting to place on other people when you don't understand or don't even attempt to understand what it's like for them. Uh, because, I mean, as we know, people who outwardly appear very fortunate, very privileged, very successful, they end up killing themselves in huge numbers. So that degree of inner turmoil, of, of anguish, uh, is invisible. And, and so I guess what I'm saying is that, uh, I mean, for one thing, like, yeah, I, I haven't experienced anything uh, story worthy, really, uh, except to the extent that everybody has a story and, and a journey. So I would say the answer to your question maybe actually is yes but no more than any other human being. Mm -hmm.